Hi, HCG peeps. It's Maddie, and it is VLCD number nine. And I have had Tom ring the doorbell. And he decided to bring Alien vs. Predator with him, which are now wreaking havoc in my brain and my stomach. I am starting the process of a stinking migraine. Ugh, nothing worse than waking up with a headache. I know, Tom, it's not a nice visiting gift. So, flowers, wine, but no, not a migraine, not Alien vs. Predator. So, anyway. That's what's happening. I've already cranked down some Advil to get my brain back in line. Um, but I can't function. I have four appointments today and I cannot be fighting Alien vs. Predator. So that's what's that. Um, I had a 0.8 release, which is still not bad, but certainly influenced by Tom. Tom. I sound like Holly Hunter when I say that. Tom. Anyway, um, maybe I, just in my head. <laughs> so I did, I don't know how I did on my exam last night. You know, these things I never know. <sighs> but my school chooses to put on every exam from the very outset. My first midterm had um, bar... California bar multiple choice questions on it. Now, the bar is designed for people who have completed law school, not people in their first trimester. But my school's theory is that the sooner you get these questions and start manipulating them and being inundated with them, the sooner you learn to deal with them. Because this is apparently the one place people really fail the bar these stupid multiple choice questions. They are literally designed to fail. So they're so confusing. And you know, I'm the kind of person on a simple multiple choice question I get confused because in my head, I could justify every answer. Well, I don't know, what was the weather that day? You know, I mean, I start to think these things, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know his family history. Um, so anyway, uh, so last night was no exception. Um, the computer program that we use is the same that they use at the bar because they're trying to get us into it. Um, and it, it scores your multiple choice when you pass in your test. So you know what you did on that. Of course, you don't know how you did on your essay questions. That's for the professors to grade. But as every test, this is now my third exam with the dang MC questions, and I never get higher than 50% on those damn things. So the problem is, it's like I totally felt confident. The teachers have been giving us all these tips and, and techniques to deal with the MC questions, and I was doing them all. And I thought, yeah, I'm going to score higher this time. And I turned it in 50%. So now, knowing that Tom was about to come, he first sends his evil um, pet, Spot, um, who is a female dog, and um, she's not very friendly. So apparently she was here last night, and when I only got 50% right, I was like, oh, what? I totally felt confident. This sucks. And then I went into like this whole, I'm a failure. I can never get higher than, I'll never pass the bar. Okay. So now I get it. It was, it was spot. So um, now I can let that, that pass and know it was just whatever. So, and, and the fun thing about being perimenopausal is Tom visits multiple times a month, not just once. You never know. You never know when Tom is coming visiting and bringing his evil pet. Um, and sometimes the evil pet visits after Tom leaves now. It's, perimenopause is just freaking awesome. So, um, but it makes a lot of sense because I was like hot flashing through the whole exam and stuff and I thought it was just stress. Oh, it's hormones. What a great time to have Tom visit during finals. Anyway, so I wanted to share real quick um, the supplements I take. Um, 
I get my supplements from my mom's network marketing company. Um, but I wanted to tell you what all was in them. And um, I haven't gotten the MSM. I'm going to get that from Whole Foods, I think. Um, but when I found out about it, it was past my Whole Foods trip that I go once a week. So I'm a little obsessive and I don't like to grocery shop more than once a week because it freaks out my son and it upsets our family balance. And I have things in a fragile balance all the time. But I'm going to tell you about these real quick. So the multivitamin kind of stuff I take is this thing. It's called Life Pack. And everything is in this little packet. You're supposed to pay, take two of these a day, but I'm a thrifty gal. And I only take one because they're not cheap. And um, don't tell my mom. So, but I take one. And I'm going to read quickly some of what's in there. Dude, in that thing is like packed all this stuff, okay? Um, vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin E, vitamin K, thiamine, riboflavin, niacin, vitamin B6, folate, B12, biotin. That's good stuff, biotin. Um... Where was I? B12, biotin, pantothenic acid, calcium, iodine, magnesium, zinc, selenium, gamma, something, um, something else I can't read, citrus bioflavonoids, grapeseed extract, quercetin, um, polyphenol flavonoid blend, molybdenum, chromium, that's good for controlling blood sugar, manganese, copper, um, someone talked about we need that, uh, uh, beta and delta taco phenols. I don't know what that is. Not tacos. ALA, inositol, something else I can't, uh, can't pronounce. Beta carotene, lycopene, alpha carotene, lutein, that's good for the eyes. Boron, uh, vanadium, that's what's in that. That's a lot in that tiny little packet. So I take that. When I'm feeling really fatigued, I'll take it with both meals. I might take it with both meals today just because Tom's here. He requires extra supplements. Um, and then I take these. Let's see. This is called Detox. And this is an herbal blend. And it's got like milk thistle in it and stuff. And it helps cleanse your liver, which I think is really important while you're doing all this because you're trying to, the fat cells have toxins and stuff stored in them. And it also helps cleanse the liver so your um, gallbladder and gallstone stuff ain't a problem. And then ain't, oh my, don't say ain't. Okay, is not a problem. Okay, and then um, I take this probiotic, which we all know is very good for us. This helps you digest your food better so what you are eating you get more out of. And then I take this. This is called Cortitrol. And what this does is this helps control the cortisol in your body, and that's put out by the adrenal glands. Apparently, the cortisol is what creates the belly fat. So this is supposed to help us lose the belly fat. It's also <clears throat> kind of, remember how I talked about my anxiety? This apparently my mother told me, take this. Um, this helps control some of that because uh, obviously when you have anxiety, your adrenals fire the cortisol. So this helps calm that down. She says it helps you sleep better. It helps the ups and downs. So as we go through the diet and um, get cleaner, it um, I think it helps control some of that. So, um, and then this is something I've been doing since before the diet, but they recommend it with the diet. My mom's group who's doing this recommends it. And this is called Age Lock Vitality. And, um, okay, let me tell you. I love, I could not be in law school without this supplement. Um, but I do think it helps kick up your metabolism. I think that's why I'm having better releases this time. And I'm not as hungry um, because of this. And when I get fatigued, I just pop a couple more of these. Um, it has cordyceps mushroom, pomegranate, and ginseng in it. Um, it doesn't seem to affect the diet, the protocol. But it does give you like a sustained energy, not like a coffee energy, um, not like a shallow energy. And I take, on a good day, I'll take four in the morning and four in the afternoon. Um, on a bad day, I'll do five in the morning and five in the afternoon. And um, so like, for example, I'll just kind of space it out knowing my day. So 
Um, like yesterday I had finals, so I took actually four in the morning, I took a couple with my lunch, and then I took a couple right before my final, because it really does kind of get your brain kicking in um, and focused. It helps with your focus. I give these to my kids, too, because they both believe that it helps with their focus. Um, they have seen an effect where it seems to, my daughter has ADD, among other things, um, and that seems to help her. Anyway, so I just wanted to talk about that and share what I'm doing. I don't do the fish oils. I don't do well with fish oils anyway. Um, I, if I were going to do it, I, was, I would do it more on a vegetarian base. Um, those seem to digest better in my system, but um, I hear some people talk about them. Um, I'm not going to do that, but, uh, I am going to get the MSM because that sounds good. And I don't want to look like a shriveled, saggy raisin when I'm done. So if that helps, I'm on it. And, um, I think, I think that covers all my bases, base, bases, bases. Gosh, this migraine is taking away my brain. Um, I think that covers everything. How's that? And I, that's all I'm going to say today. Uh, I have a busy day. So I wish everybody great releases, easy stabilization and maintenance, and a happy Wednesday. And um, again, I love your feedback. So anything you have to say, um, let me know. And I love all the support. And I love seeing all your guys' vlogs. And I can't think straight right now to do shout outs, but I just want to say thank you to everybody. So that's it. All right. My dog is barking and it hurts my head.